What was it like being at Wembley on Sunday? Yeah. How can I describe it? It was magnificent to be uh, uh, excitement, passion, singing, everything. And uh, it, it was grand to be there. How many years, Yayan, have you been waiting to see that result? Well, I started watching this one in 1929-30. Yeah. And uh, I remember the game, it was against Grisby. Past Trevor, the Welsh International, was the, every goalkeeper's enemy. And he, cause they used to blast him in the bottom of the net. But um, my father had, had uh, recently been killed in a motor accident. And my, uh, my uncle took over the business and uh, used to take me occasionally to see Swansea to relieve a bit of pressure from my mother, who was over there with three kids. Anyway, we used to sit in the front row of, of the double-decker, in the old double-decker, and uh, with the wind and the rain coming in, but it was enjoyed. But it didn't, didn't go every area every, every Saturday, but uh, it took me quite often. What, what did you think of the game itself on, on Sunday? Oh, it was fantastic. It was exhibition stuff. It was played on the carpet like a billiard table. And poor old Bradford, they were mesmerised. They were uh, as if they caught in, in, in the car headlamps. They just didn't know where they were. Uh, they were playing with three wingers and they used to interchange, interchange all the time. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They, they, di they did it with some style, didn't oh, they? Oh, absolutely style. There's no question about it. It was absolutely exhibition stuff all the way through. And they played with passion, and every player would help each other. And they were all excellent. And uh, Ashley Williams in the, in the heart of defence and captain, brilliant. Best defender in the league, by far. In 82 years of watching Swansea City play, has there ever been a better side in your view? This is the best side ever, no question about it. Uh, John Toshek's side was pretty good, but he had a lot of inputs for ex-Liverpool players. But I think Brendan, uh, the, um, uh, Dodrup is a far better manager. He's taking up another level. And you were singing on uh, Sunday? I <laughs> know, I haven't got a voice. No, I'm far away from, from that crowd. <laughs> but, uh, oh, it, 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 I can't describe it, what it gives you. Being a Welshman, it gives you, your skin is creepy, you know. Uh, <laughs> hair is standing on end, uh, absolutely. <laughs> It was it was wonderful to hear the the, the chorus of hymns and arias ringing oh, around Wembley. Yes, and the players themselves say it does, it does affect them as well. They they sort of get into the groove and and, and, and get infused by it. So I don't know. <laughs> there must be something in it. <laughs> but we're like all those men, we like to hear the singing. And you've waited a long time for this, haven't you? I've waited a very long time. I've seen Swansea going down, 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 down to the dregs of the football world. I remember the last game in, in the vet when the James Thomas scored that three goals against Hull, which saved Swansea from going into the, into the conference. conference yes. And uh, like all the fools, I jumped over the barrier and when the game was finished, when like a stampede it was in front of the old rickety <laughs> vet. A pitch invasion. Stand. You, you took part in the pitch invasion. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't hold yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and ten years later, Yayan, they are uh, lifting uh, the League Cup in mm. uh, in Wembley. What a what a transformation in ten years. Well, you. Uh, what can you say? You just can't describe it. It's. Uh, well, it's a, it's a fairy tale story, really. 
and I don't think it's happened to it in any other club in the whole of the football world. I've seen all different. Uh, they've been up with the. Uh, I've been to Wembley for several times. I've been up to Manchester, been down to Southampton, been up in Scunthorpe. <laughs> I've been, Bur I've been in Birmingham, I saw the, the 1964 uh, semi-final against Preston and the, uh, the twist of that tale. We left Trinity uh, uh, in the car, I was driving. Lovely in Trinity, but when the outside, uh, as we towards Birmingham, fog came down. I couldn't see a thing. And I said to, to Harry and, uh, alongside me, See that tail up there? I'm going to follow that guy wherever he goes. We ended up in the cul-de-sac, slept in the car all night. <laughs> I thought we, we had a tenant for a bed of breakfast, but we, we, we couldn't find any, we didn't know the way, where we were. So you've been supporting Swansea for, uh, let me work it out, 82 80 years? 80 years, yeah. 80 Eighty years. Eighty years. Yeah. And you've travelled all over the UK to yes, all the grounds. Yes, all over. Uh, yes, all over. Good. Been everywhere. <laughs> uh, with rain, <laughs> but I haven't been to every ground. I've, I've been to quite a few. But uh, and uh, how would you describe being a Swansea supporter over these last eighty eighty years? It's in my blood, actually. I suppose it's uh, I've. I've been enthused by Swansea ever since I saw the first game. And uh, when they take Swansea out of my, out of my body, uh, there's nothing left. <laughs> There'll be nothing left? <laughs> nothing left there. No, I, I, I suppose you could say, uh, as you, over the years, you get, uh, you know, get enthusiastic and you see different players playing and it gives you a lot of interest, really.